Hi, I'm Rob from Alitech. Uh, today we're going to do a little training video on this three pane standard bifold. It's just an additional video really, just to help you uh, get a grasp of how things go together in conjunction with our, our technical manual. Uh, so we'll do a little bit of a step-by-step -step, uh, help that should really uh, guide you along the way. Having prepped all the corner sections of the profiles with punch tool on each section, we're now going to uh, clamp them together uh, as per the instruction manual of 06.01 using the corner cleats and screws and chevrons. Uh, so we're going to do that bit there. We're going to prep the corners now with the outer frame cleats, which is these uh, DBA1 100s. Um, these are the outer frame cleats. Um, they're slightly different to the sash cleats, but I'll get to that uh, a bit later on. So the first job is we have the chevrons, which fit into the, the lower section of the profile. There is a slightly rounded side to this uh, chevron, so make sure you get the flat side into the lower part of the profile section in there. Same into the lower part of the section in there. And then we're just going to spin it over. And then we're just going to insert our outer frame cleats into the holes, like so. And then using the four mil Allen key, just going to loosely pop these machine screws into the holes through the cleat. Okay. So not even finger tight really, just so that just in there and locate it so the actual cleat doesn't pop out when you're fixing all the outer frame together. Okay. That's one side done. Uh, I'm just going to get the other one built up and ready, and we'll cut back to that in a minute. Following one from the last section we've just done, we're just going to put the opposite side in now. So again, just repeating the process, make sure the chevrons are in correctly, inserting the cleats into the lower chunks. The important thing you need to do is because we're doing the opposite side, before we actually fasten these up, we need to insert the hinge plates. So the hinge plates are for the hinges to clamp onto. We've identified that this is going to be the, the hinge side. So we just need to locate these in now before we fasten the cleats up. So we're just going to put them in the center. And using a 2.5 uh, Allen key and a little grub screw, which is situated in here, just tight just to hold them temporarily and we'll come back to setting these hinges at a later point. You can set them now or you can set them when you actually build the sash up, that's entirely up to you. Okay, we'll do that section. So pop your cleat back in and then just before using the formula Allen key just loosely pop these into place. So that's both side styles uh, of the outer frame completed and uh, we'll move on to the connecting it to the, the top and bottom of the outer frame. That'll be the next part. <laughs> 